What's going on YouTube? A Train here bringing y'all another video. So first off, I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Recently, I've been getting a lot of new subscribers, so I just want to say thank y'all for checking out my channel, watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And uh, you know, it's just been cool to see the channel grow a little bit, so thank you. And I also wanted to mention, I plan on doing a live stream when I reach 500 subscribers. So if that's something y'all want to see, comment down below and let me know. I think it'll be cool to just vibe out answer questions that y'all have and just chat real time so i want to do it but i want to know if y'all want me to do it so just let me know in the comment section down below so with this specific video i'm going to be showing you an underexposed image and how i edit these images because sometimes it just happens you know this particular shot my wife took but i edit all the photos so i'm going to be showing you how i you know bring that photo back up and make it look dreamy vibrant and colorful that's the way i like to edit enough with all the talking let's go over to the computer and i'm going to show you how i edit my portraits. All right, so we're over in Lightroom right now. So I usually start off my edits in Lightroom and then if I wanna make additional changes or remove stuff and do uh, my skin retouching, I'll take my photos over to Photoshop. So I usually start off in Lightroom. Like I said, this photo is underexposed, but that's why you shoot in RAW because you can bring you know, your highlights and shadows and all that stuff. The dynamic range with Sony is crazy. So you can fix that in post. Uh, that's what I like about the Sony files. So I'm going to start off by raising my exposure. But really with this, I'm just trying to get my skin tones right. Not really worried too much about the background because I could change that later on. So that looks pretty good right there. As you can see, this is a backlit shot. We have some nice sun coming in the back. So I'm actually going to warm this up um, just to make it more dreamy and warm. So we're going to warm this up a little bit you don't want to get too crazy with it because the skin will start to change too much so just want to warm it up give it a little bit so now i'm gonna add some contrast i love doing contrast so i'll keep that to about 12. we're gonna take these highlights down a little bit you can see the difference I'm gonna take it down about negative 50. Uh, usually increase my whites, give it some more punch. I'll do about 20. And as you can see with my changes, I'm not doing like big changes. I feel like a lot of people like over edit and I've learned that less is better. <laughs> as y'all probably seen from my last video where I was critique, critiquing my old work like I used to go crazy with the editing and it doesn't look natural so I try to keep the photos looking natural so I don't make crazy changes and I try to keep everything you know natural so uh, I'll take the blacks down to about negative seven for my clarity I usually go to about ten or like eight or something like that that to make my photos a little bit sharper uh, vibrance I usually take that up to about 10 um, then we're gonna sharpen I like to sharpen so I'll take this to about 60 let me do my lens corrections you see that lens correction kind of change that a good amount so I could take my exposure down a little bit but I think it looks fine um, so that is the basic editing that I do right there so I'm gonna show y'all this is the before this is the after as you can see it looks completely different so now I'm gonna move over to this tone curve I like to use this a lot this is a way you can really add just some extra punch to your photos and just make them pop a little bit more so at the top I think this is the highlights I may be wrong but as you can see these are the changes when I'm adjusting this point so I'm gonna just do that a little little bit like I said I do slight adjustments and right here I think this is the blacks um, can bring that down a little bit and if you hit this little switch can see the difference I think all right now let me take these shot I'm gonna take the shadows up just a little bit so let me show you all the before and after so that's a good base right right there 
So now I'm gonna go over to the radial, radial filter. I use this a lot. Um, so what you can do is you just, you're creating a filter, a certain spot within the image that you wanna make adjustments to. So I'm gonna put this on her, right? And if you hold Alt, you can make it bigger without changing the whole thing. So it'll just change the sides. Um, so I'm putting this filter around her. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take down the background exposure of the background. So I like to do this because I wanna keep the focus on my subject and most of the time I want them to be like the brightest part of the photo so your eye immediately goes to them. So that's what I'm doing with this filter right here. So you just wanna click invert. Well, never mind. don't click invert because you see it was making changes to her. So keep it where it's at. And as you can see, it's changing the background. So if I go up, it's making it brighter. If I bring it down, it's dimming that background. So I'm gonna go about negative, uh, negative nine. So you can see the difference right here. Like I said, just a slight difference. If you hit this little thing, you can see the difference. Like I said, just bringing that attention on her and what I also want to do with this is I want to increase the warmth in the background and that's what I like about radio filters because you could just change certain parts of the photo so if I want to make it warmer with the background I could go to the temperature and I could turn that up and as you can see it makes the background warmer so we're gonna do about say about 13 As you can see the difference right there. I like that. To me, that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make a new radio filter. So I just click new. And I'm gonna put this around her again. So about right there. So what I wanna do is brighten her up just to give her that extra pop and make her stand out a little bit more. So I'm gonna click on invert. So I make the changes to her and not the background. And I'm gonna raise the exposure. As you can see, it's making her brighter. So you don't wanna go crazy with this. So I'll do about 17. So you can see the difference. This is the before and that's the after. I think that looks pretty good. So, all right, so I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna take this over to Lightroom now. I'll show you the before and the after right there. Could actually take those highlights down a little bit more in the back. I did negative 81. So I'm gonna take this over to Photoshop now and do my skin retouching and a little more adjustment. So I just right click and go to edit in Photoshop and it'll take the photo over in Photoshop. All right, so we are in Photoshop now. So what I'm gonna do is zoom in it's a little bit too much and just see, um, clean up the skin. So to clean up the skin, she has really good skin so I really don't have to do a lot. I usually use the spot healing brush tool and I'll just make it small because if you make it too big, it can kind of mess things up so I'll just make it small and just kind of clean up some little spots. Like I said, nothing major. This is a... All right, like I said, she has really good skin so I don't have to do a lot of work with the skin. So next up, I'm gonna use the curves. And I'm gonna give this a little bit more punch and see if I like that look better, so. Raise that. See these blacks, how that looks. A little bit punchy, maybe too much. You see just a slight uh, difference right there. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. 
like I said, sometimes I do a little bit more, but for this specific shot, I didn't have to do a lot and I like how that looks. And like I said earlier, less is better. Trust me, less is better. If you don't believe me, look at my old video, my past video that I just made about, and you can see my old work because I was doing so much and those photos just look bad, but. That's it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I talk about photography, the business side of photography, marketing, all that stuff on my channel. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. I post new videos every single week. And also I have some videos in the description down below if you want to check out some more of my videos. And I will see y'all in my next video. Peace.